Wong. On the ground from Galvanize, San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Amplify Women's Pitch Night. Now, here's Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at Galvanize at the Girls in Tech uh, Female Founders Pitch Night. And it's 10 finalists, they're pitching to a room full of VCs, trying to get some money and some really interesting creative ideas. Um, we're joined now by Anna Vidal, welcome. And yeah, her thanks. company is called Adioma. And the greatest thing, they gave us a little summary before we go live, it says, explain your company in seven words or less. That's like the biggest struggle that most entrepreneurs have, right? They have so much to say. You got it down to three. Yeah. A visual writing tool, so welcome. Yeah, that's it, thank you so much. So tell us more about your tool. Sure, uh, so Adioma visualizes your articles. Like any text you write, you can just upload it and it will visualize it into a visual language. What the hell is that? Yeah, well, what does that mean, visual? <laughs> I, I'm thinking like icons and the newest iOS, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, exactly, so it's icons and uh, visual layouts. So we've all gotten used to icons, right? Like there's emojis, but emojis wouldn't work if you wanted to say visualize science or law. Right. I'm a lawyer by background, so I wouldn't be so great to put emojis into depositions, you know? <laughs> but um, so, so there are universal icons that we already use, like they're in the airport, in healthcare, and in traffic signs, like everybody knows what they mean. You don't have to, you don't have to uh, ask somebody for an explanation when you're at the airport. Like, what does that icon mean, right? Never right, happened. Right. So, so there's already a visual language. We're just expanding it to cover all kinds of meaning. So the whole visual language would cover the whole English language, basically. Right, right. And then we're putting them into universal templates. So a timeline, a tree, a cycle. You know what, what that means, like nobody needs to tell you, right? Right, right. Um, so that's what we're putting together. And so if you have um, an article or just ideas, uh, brainstorming in your head, you can just type it up and uh, upload it, and boom, you got a visualization just like that. And you said so it comes out like an infographic. Yeah, yeah, it's, like an it's infographic. kind of a higher value. To, so that's 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 incredible to me. So uh, and there's no, it's not like Mechanical Turk. There's people in the back room that are basically redoing this. Is all done no. inside the computer. Yeah, it's all algorithm based. So where'd you come up with this idea? Uh, so I was uh, in law school, uh, out of all places, and I felt. Um, like really overwhelmed by the amount of text. Well, some people would say then you shouldn't be in law school, but I, I had a different <laughs> idea. You know, I thought I, I, I know I'm a visual learner and I can handle complexity if I make a picture of it for myself. So I drew out cases uh, while in law school and it helped me a lot. And I thought, well, why can't we uh, apply the same kind of model of visualization to other areas? Um, but there was no tool to do it simply. So, right, right. Um, so I ended up learning like Photoshop and Illustrator, like the professional tools. Uh, spent a couple of years of my life on that. Uh, but became a designer and then I thought, okay, well, um, now I wonder if there's a way to make it easier for everyone. Because then I got um, clients uh, who would order these visualizations, but they would run up like $10,000 or more, and not everyone. Because you were just charged by the hour, or exactly, by, the, by yeah. the SOW. By the okay. project, but right, still, right. yeah. I mean, Google can afford it to buy one from me, and they did, but not like small startups and businesses, right? So I thought, okay, maybe there's a way to automate it. And a lot of my clients started saying, like, is there a way to, to do it simpler? So I started doing it like step by step first, like organizing all the icons in one place, tagging them, making sure that uh, we have like word icon match uh, set, like so it's easy to find one. Like let's say you're looking for some complicated word like litigation or IPO, so there's an icon for that. So we cover the whole language. So you've built kind of the, you've built kind of the, the the icon library, and then you've built kind of the mapping, mm -hmm. and then you've come up with these kind of uh, information conveyance templates, whether it be a tree or a timeline or some of these other things. Yeah, exactly. And then it just scans it and does the match and lets yeah. it do a cool design and kicks it out. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta see this. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it's funny because you know one of the popular things we go to a lot of conferences that happens now that people are doing more and more is they have one of these designers up on stage next to the keynote with this big giant board yeah. and they're and they're drawing hand drawing visualizations along with the kind of the cadence of the keynote. But again, it's a very manual process. These people are very specialized in their craft, but it, it, you know, the output is a really cool visualization of what was a mini minutes or 45 minutes presentation, but yeah. you automated the whole thing. Yeah, and my, my next big thing is to do mind maps in, in the tool, and it's totally possible, we're like getting closer to it, but yeah, I think it should be democratized, like there's 60% of the world is visual thinkers, some of us are like not comfortable to admit it because 
it, you know, the text guys are supposed to be smarter, but it's like, no, everyone is smart. If you're a visual thinker, you just need the right tools to express yourself and the right tools to consume information. So a little bit about the company, how long have you been at it, how many people are there, kind of, where, where are you kind of in your stage of life in the company? Yeah, so we launched on September 1st, and since then, um, so there's uh, three of us, me, my co-founder, and our advisor, and uh, we've got uh, 5,000, uh, like more than 5,000 visualizations created on our platform. We covered 10,000 words, 10,000 English words. You can search only by English right now, but you can type any language. Uh, and uh, we're profitable, which is awesome. Great. Already, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and the second month, we made 10% revenue growth over the last month. And so. who are your customers? Who's, who, who are using, who's using, I mean, obviously a lot of people could, but who, who has found you and is, and is using your service? Yeah, so it's mostly educators, uh, bloggers, so people who write anyway. So they, they've been writing their whole life, now they just want to make a visual um, equivalent of what they write and right. just put it up there, right. you know, so people can scan it. And then a uh, third one is startup founders because they want to explain their idea. So I use Idioma to explain Idioma all the time. <laughs> <laughs> And you just just scan it, and all, you're off to the races. Yeah. All right. So where can people go to uh, to try it out, to upload their latest blog, and, and learn more about the company? Yeah. So go to adioma a d i o m a dot com, and um, sign up. It's free. Um, you, if you pay a little bit, you get a high resolution of your image, and you get more templates. It's forty dollars a month. Still, still like it's a screaming deal compared to hiring a designer. And we even give you a vector file for 300 bucks, which means like you can print it out, you can scale it infinitely, you can edit it in Photoshop. Is it with all the individual objects or vectors or yeah. just or the whole thing? Like one, the individual objects. The individual objects as well. All right, I got to check this out. Um, yeah. Anna Vital, great story. Uh, good luck tonight. How'd your Thank pitch you. go with the, with the folks downstairs? Uh, I feel good. So, you feel good? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, you're already profitable, so you're probably ahead of a lot of the people. <laughs> all right. Anna Vital from... Adioma. Check it out. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. We are live from downtown San Francisco at Galvanize. Thanks for watching.